Hi guys, happy new year. It's the 1st of January, 2023. The start of a new year, hopefully a great one for you all and hope you get what you wish for. I wasn't planning on doing a goals video. I think I was planning to do one last year, but I don't think I got around to it because I don't see it anywhere. But I do see a video saying I'm going to do a goals video separately and then nothing appeared. <laughs> um, but this year I didn't plan. Um, but somebody, namely Steve W on Strava posted, looking forward to your Evelyn's Goals 2023 YouTube video. <laughs> um, yeah, so I wasn't planning on doing one because I don't really have any real, real race goals. I always have general goals are to get back to 2017, 2018. Those were my best years of running. I had lost a lot of weight and I just got PB after PB. I never realised I could run that fast. Ending in the Manchester Marathon in a time of four hours, 29 minutes or so. So I think I was just so happy with that. I thought I can eat anything I want now. I'll keep this weight off. And gradually over the years, it's now 2023, five years it's taken me to put on slowly back the weight I lost. I'm not totally at the most amount, but I am basically nearly there. The only good thing is I'm fitter than I was. I'm slightly faster than I was when I first started losing weight, but I'm definitely fitter, more endurance, things like that. I haven't really lost that portion of it, but I'm definitely slower. Initially, I thought it was because of the weight I put on is making me slow, and that does have something to do with it, but also I've been enjoying slower runs and I haven't been putting in the effort and the oomph to do better. So I probably could do faster and there's definitely heavier people who are only slightly taller than me who can run faster. I know it's mostly men, but they obviously are stronger than me, but it's possible. So that's what I want to concentrate on. I have general goals of to improve my times for the 5K, 10K and half marathon. I want to get my 5K back to under 30 minutes. I'm still striving for that. And I'll let you know how I did yesterday in a moment. So 5K or at least park run back down to under 30 minutes or back to an average of 28 minutes, which is what I was doing. 10K back to sub one hour and half marathon back to sub two hours. And I had achieved all of those things. I'm not even thinking about marathon this year. And my plan was not to train for a marathon this year. I've been training for a marathon, sometimes two marathons for eight years now. And I had decided not to do a marathon in 2023, if I can help it. I did apply for some like competitions, but I didn't register for any ballots. I'm getting a bit of FOMO now, but I didn't re register for any ballots and I'm not going to pay for any marathons for 2023. But lo and behold, my niece on her second time of asking got through on London Marathon ballots. So of course, me being a runner, I will, <laughs> love to help her train for that so that's what i'll be doing so that's going to be most of the videos that you'll be seeing on this channel for the first part of this year i'll dot my own running here and there i hope you'd like that because it's basically a beginner runner doing the marathon so she's never really run she's quite fit she does the gym so she's good at strength training so she's got that power in her but she just hasn't run really um, even like yesterday's park run was her third park run forever, so which so surprises me. Her first one was in 2021 and then she's done two in the last month. So yay to Rebecca. But again, you'll see more of her on my channel in the coming months. Me, because of that, I will train with her. Whether I do the 20 mile run, I most likely will, or not is another matter. But if I do do the 20 mile run, then I can't waste that training run. So I probably will book a marathon near the time to come after London. So London is back to April this year. First time since COVID, amazing. The only thing is back to normal now. Obviously there'll be races if I wanna get my times back. I don't think I'll do any specific training for them. I'll just do the training for the marathon and hope that I pick it up. But I do have a personal goal Starting today, I'm doing the Gymshark 66 challenge. So you have to do something every day for 66 days and that hope, hopefully will get you into a habit of doing that or will 
or get that into your schedule. So what I've decided is that I will do, I'm doing my run streak anyway, that continues. So, but I want to up my minimum to at least five miles, hopefully 10K. It doesn't have to be in one run, it can be in two, but I wanna do at least 10K per day and then one, either a gym session or a YouTube video workout. And I'm thankful to say that I've already achieved my uh, target. So I did, at seven o'clock this morning, I did a YouTube workout. At nine o'clock, I did the New Year's Day park run. I was supposed to volunteer, but a mishap and I wasn't on the roster for some reason. So I decided I'll run it. So I've done four park runs in the last two weeks. How cool is that? And then I did a, another 5K. I just came back from that, so. I've done my 10K for today and I've done my, it was about a 35 minute session and I burnt about a thousand calories. Obviously it's only the calories on my watch. It's not anything meticulously calculated, but if I can do that every day, I'll be happy. So my first run was a non-math um, run because it was park run, but my second run was a math run. Um, but now I will take you into some footage of yesterday's park run. As you know, from my previous Christmas Day park run video, I said that I'm trying to get my, oh, I want you to get my fastest time for park run of the year. And so I was going to do that at a different course, a flatter course. So yeah, so watch this footage and you'll find out whether I did it or not. I think I let you know quite early, but here it is. And I do apologize. It was really windy yesterday. Some excuses for you already there. It was so windy and I think I, rec I forgot that I was recording on my headphones. So the wind is so loud. You might not be able to hear me, but I'll try and put subtitles on. I didn't want to not show you the footage because it would have been a waste and I didn't realise until I got home. So watch this footage now and see how it Go. she's so strong this girl is gonna be a runner I don't care she hates it no she's liking it but she's not loving it I mentioned to her I said you're gonna run after the marathon she said no <laughs> but just watching her go through that it's amazing anyway I didn't get my goal but it was done it's like, it's like, oh, as you can see I didn't quite make it I was so disappointed with myself they said at the beginning, the run director even said, it's a fast course, but not today. It was just so windy and you could hear the wind in my recording so you can tell how windy it was. It didn't quite rain, so that was good, but I think I put it all out there. I put the splits here, but I did go out way too fast at the beginning. I was wearing my magic shoes, uh, my Nike Vapor Plus, purple ones. And I did it in less than six minutes per kilometer and I've not done that for a long time at park run. So I'm thinking, yes, Evelyn, you're, do you're gonna do this. You're gonna do this in 30 minutes, the way you're going. And then as we went round the bend to the other side of the, cause it's two loops. But as you come back on the, the second half of the first loop, the wind was just there. So it's just really blowing. And, um, and cause I ran too fast as well. By the time I got to the second K, my tiredness i was weaker and the wind was stronger so i couldn't really fight that and run so i slowed right down um, i didn't get up to seven minutes but probably 655 635 629 so those last 4k let me down and of course i always run over 5k so i think it was about 5.1 
Okay, so yeah, I've missed my target by 20 seconds. So I was about five seconds slower than I was at the previous week's park run. I can't believe it. And that was at Wardown and that's got four hills or slopes, but they're really hills. But yeah, so I'm quite uh, upset that I didn't quite make it, but I'm glad that it's still 31 minutes something. So at least I didn't like go overboard. And then today, New Year's Day park run, back at war down and that was back down to 33 minutes so it's a bit tired because um not that i stayed up and partied last night but we did have a, a couple of drinks and we went to see some fireworks so i didn't get back till about half 12 or so and then i was up at seven to do my workout this morning so i did my workout first as well and then i did park run so maybe that slowed me down a little bit but i think that's gonna help get me going more I think and um, I'm only going to do park run as a non math run I don't know if I've updated you I think I made comments in some other videos but I've been doing low heart rate training for the since I think since Chicago marathon or the week after I just haven't really been good with my videos so I haven't actually uploaded any footage that I've taken about it and now it's a bit old I hope to cover what I've done and my progress in a future video but um again the london marathon training videos will take precedence of, on that but yeah it's really helping me with my endurance and fat burning because you're running at a lower rate so i'm hoping that will help with this plan as well so most of my runs will be low heart rate training and then hopefully that's fat burning i'm going to track my food and i'm going to drink two liters of water so i've drunk one liter this morning and it's only just turned one o'clock 1 p.m so yeah i'm really happy i know i'm not working so that does help with doing these runs but i have tomorrow off because that's a bank holiday second of jan and then back to work but i work remotely so i should be able to fit that in i'm not with the client that i was working with in 2022 so i don't know what the schedule will be but we'll see and also i work with us people so if I don't have anything waiting for me when I log in, I might not be doing any work <laughs> uh, in the morning or I'll just be doing some training. I do need to go and buy a new laptop now because the company that I'm working with wants their laptop back. So I'm gonna have to buy a new laptop. So maybe I'll do that. That goes under admin, doesn't it? Yeah, so that's my plan for the new year. So no real, real goals apart from improving my 5K, 10K and half marathon times, not planning on a marathon but because I'm helping my niece, that's my goal, to help my niece get to her training goal for the London Marathon. Um, and then if I do all the training, I might as well book myself onto a marathon. There's one in Edinburgh, May, end of May, so I might get on that, but I've heard really bad reports on it as a race. All the people I watch who've run the race didn't have a good time of it, so I'm not sure if that's one I want to do, but I'll be fit by then, won't I? <laughs> Um, and it's my 50th year as well. So my birthday is in March, St. Patrick's Day. So that's why I'm really wanting to go out on this Gymshark 66 challenge because I want to be happy with myself, I should say, by my 50th birthday. So. But, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do subscribe. I would love to get to at least 200 by my birthday as well. And I will see you next time for another video. Thank you so much. Have a good 2023. Take care. Bye.